Hello, welcome to another tutorial. So, I've realized, in all the time that's passed, pretty much everyone assumes everyone knows the basics to Mugen, right? Um, but I've realized people don't always know how to do everything, you know? Even the simplest things, like adding characters to a select screen, or, you know, uh, changing a stage or adding stages. So, I think in some form, because of Eichmann Go, I'm gonna go back to the basics in a sense on how to do certain things within Eichmann Go. I don't know how much more Mugen tutorials I'll be making. I'm pretty much gonna move over to Eichmann Go. It's just better that way overall. Because I, I feel that's the way of the future, honestly. Unless, you know, Electify comes back and things change. Now, um, someone asked um, that, how do I add a character to the select screen? And I realized, you know what, I can go, there's so many features on how to do that. So we're going to go over a couple of them. There's a lot more I didn't test. Um, and it, it took me like an hour to get all these working the proper way. So give me credit for that. Also, for what it's worth, I don't script these videos at all. I do them all ad lib. I just go live and record and figure it as I go. That's why they take so long. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna use Eichmann Go. I have Kung Fu Man, the one that comes with the engine, Master of Arts, which is a Kung Fu Man uh, uh, version I did, and uh, Marvel's a Capcom, Giver. Um, so, go to data folder, and you go to select.def. This is how you add a character to your game. Now, it gives you all this information here on how to add them and everything, and the correct order in which, which to add things. Uh, Eichmann features in particular are Music Alt, Music Life, uh, so Music Alt will be like, I guess, second round, as it notes here, it should be used after the first round. Music Life is used in the second round when less than 30% life, Music Victory is played right after the character scores the final KO. AI, if you want it to be an AI only character, or actually no, AI it forces the AI. So basically, think of it as SNK syndrome, except on demand. You can control when to have it or with whichever character. Uh, you can enable, disable the versus screen. You can enable, disable the victory screen. You can enable, disable rank display. You can set the number of rounds. If you want a character to have one round, such as a bonus stage, you can do that. If you want a round to have 30 seconds instead of 99 seconds, you can do that. If you want there to be a two-on-one match, like a scripted two-on-one match, where if you're playing simultaneous or uh, turns or tag, your opponent's always going to be one. Uh, you could tell it to include a stage in the, uh, the stage uh, selector. So, say you want to fight Ryu on Ryu stage, but you don't want to select Ryu stage when you're playing other modes, you'd use this. Boss will tell the game engine, out of all the characters you have, this is one of the boss characters you want to use for boss rush mode. And then you have bonus character, which, you know, it's part of a bonus game thing, which I haven't probably seen this one. Maybe I didn't see it, I probably didn't look. Exclude means uh, they're not going to be on the select screen. And it also says excluded characters are not added to random select pool and won't show up. So these characters just won't show up at all. I guess they're selectable to some degree, but they're not uh, selectable by other means. Hidden is if you want to have a character hidden until you, say, clear arcade mode for the first time, such as secret characters. I remember back in the day, um, I had JoJo's Bizarre Adventure on the Sega Dreamcast, and I played arcade mode like forever in a day. And every few arcade runs, I unlock a new character. Or rather, I'd unlock, like, say, uh, when I played arcade with Kakion, I unlocked uh, Rubber Soul, which is the same character, just like, you know, palette swap and a few changes here and there. Uh, survival Order, or well, Order Survival controls that. Arcade Path, I don't know how Arcade Path works. I'm not familiar with Lua Files, L U A, Lua Files. Um, so that may be something I have to learn. Or I'm just lazy, I can't figure it out. Ratio Path, um, Oslo, 
I don't know it either. Slot is something I went over in the, in the previous video, but I'll go over it again in here. Unlock, you have to use unlock with the hidden um, uh, parameter, otherwise it won't properly work. You need to have both. Has a few examples here, but these are my examples down here. So by default, so before I actually go off and explain what everything is, uh, everything has an order. If you don't put an order, it's automatically order equals one. And order equals one means you're gonna he the lowest of the the bottom of the pole of enemies you fight. So by putting order equals zero, you're never gonna fight this character. So none of these characters I'll fight in the arcade mode. Not even him. Not even him. I should be fighting Master of Arts only. Right here. This looks like gibberish, but I'll explain everything. Now scrolling down, we go to options, minus all of this writing and stuff. Say I just remove this like this. Anything semicolon out, you can delete. It's all comments. Okay, so there, arcade matches. So these mean I'll have one order equals one match, one order equals two match, one order equals three match, four, five, six, seven, eight. If someone is order equal nine, I'm never gonna fight them in the arcade mode. If the order equals ten, I'm never gonna fight them in the arcade mode. You can use this to set up your um, arcade ladder. So if you want M. Bison from Street Fighter to be your final boss, you could put him as order equals 10 and just put a 1 for the 10 and he's going to be the final boss. If you want to have multiple final bosses, you can have Bison as order equals 10. You can have Rugal from King of Fighters order equal 10. And if you have a 1 value, you'll fight either or 50% chance or put 2 and you fight both. I'm just using these for testing purposes right now, but normally you have something like six regular matches, two sub bosses, one final boss, and then uh, nothing else. It'll be like this normally. But for prep testing purposes, I'm setting it up like this. Um, stages are also here, like this. I'll go over this in a second so it makes sense. But for now, we're going back to this. So. To add a character, you just put the character's folder, the folder name, sorry, the character's uh, folder name has to be here. And usually the character's def file matches the folder name and spelling. I could easily just put this, it'll work fine. So going back here, looking in master of arts see master space of space arts open it up and the def file is right here <clears throat> master space of space arts everything else doesn't matter because the def file is what's going to reconnect everything here as long as the folder and the def file have the same name this is all you need to add them to the game now if you wanted to have them in the game and have them on a certain stage, you put uh, Kung Fu Man. Usually, order, I don't put order here normally, the order goes at the end, but you could put them anywhere. Uh, it'll be Kung Fu Man stages slash Kung Fu Man dot def, the stage for him, the temple, order equals one. You could put that. As of Eichmann, if you don't put order equals one, it's defaulted to one. I think Mugen does that too, honestly. Um, the next thing you can do is versus screen on or off as I said before victory screen on or off these are defaults so one means yes zero means no will it show victory screen yes will it show versus screen yes will it show rank display yes how many rounds two rounds how many time what's the time 99 seconds is it a single round or or uh, oh am I fighting singly or am I fighting two on you know two on two two on one you're fighting single is this character hidden no this character is not hidden and you could pause here and you could read my little notes. <clears throat> this should help make you understand it better. Um, I space this out. Any space you have in a select file like this, it doesn't mean anything. Mugen skips over it and it just continues to the next line. It, so you can do spaces like this for sake of clarification, which is what I'm doing here. And this is a perfect example. Um, 
I do not know Lua coding, as I said before. I copy this from the GitHub. So Giver is orders equals zero. I'm not fighting him. He is a hidden character that can be unlocked when arcade mode is cleared more than one uh, one time or more. So Giver is locked by default and only unlocked after I clear arcade mode. And the last character slot is a slot. It's Kung Fu Man. And the second slot is Master of Arts. I have to press the D or W key to switch between them. Uh, my D and W key are set on my keyboard as Q and W. That's just how I set it for my purposes. Okay, so let's uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It's 11 slots, but 12 characters. So now we're going to go into Mugen. And those are the characters. This blank spot here, this is Giver. Uh, we cannot get to him. And this spot is the slot, which when I press the buttons, will slot. So now, let's test out the stuff. Um, so Master of Arts, order equal one, right? Now we're gonna test out with versus screen equal zero. It's going to skip the versus screen, jump straight into the match with Master of Arts, and then, you know, we're going to kill him and we're going to unlock Giver. So, that didn't work. I probably have a comma somewhere, I didn't see it. That's usually what happens. And I find it interesting. Sometimes having order equals one kind of can, can screw it up. Okay, let's try that. Hopefully it works. I was playing with this for an hour and it kept giving me issues here and there. Yeah, I think after this it should be fine. Let's see. Keep killing him with the F1 button, by the way. Yeah, no. So arcade mode is cleared once, as you can see. I might go back. Guy was selectable. Not the way I wanted to do it, but it, it works that way. Um, they're all that, 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 that. Yeah, this whole thing was giving me issues earlier. I did get it to work though. And uh, I think if I if I take it out of here and just have it as a, another character, this should work. Versus screen equals zero. Yeah. I mean, that should be it. Order equals one versus three equals zero. Let's try that and see how it works. It's a lot of trial and error, but I did test all of these little things here. Uh, they do work. Yeah, see, I just go straight into Master of Art. <clears throat> Since he is order equals one, it's always going to be him. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's always going to be him as the first match because he's like the only one. Everything else is zero. So I'm going to test, and after the intro, straight into the match. That's what happens when you <coughs> versus screen zero. So if you have like a um, here comes a challenger, you know, sudden interruption of your run, this is how you do that. Now let's try victory screen equals. So victory screen, <coughs> I actually can't test this. Well, I can actually. Now I can, yeah. So basically, the way victory screen works is. If I'm using the character, I will not have a victory screen. If I beat the character, a victory screen will show. So I killed him. Congratulations, no victory screen. That's it. You just skip the victory screen altogether. So <coughs> that's how that works. This rank display is the same thing. At the end, instead of displaying the ranks and put your name in, it won't let you do that. Rounds equals one. Instead of having two rounds, I'm gonna have one round. Fight. K.O. 
That's one round. Round. Oh, that's two rounds. K.O. You know what? That could have been the other kung fu, uh, other master of arts that's on the thing, not that one. Fight. Let's see it again. K.O. Yeah, this is the other one. Okay, that's just kung fu man. <laughs> this is the this is this kung fu, uh, master arts right here. <clears throat> yeah, it's a little finicky, but once you take your time and, and get it going, it works absolutely. I think I set the rounds to one, so let's see if I can get that one to work. Master of Arts, fight, kill him. K -O. Round two, ah, fight. Huh. Oh, this is the other Master of Arts, that's why. <clears throat> There's two, it's a, you know, you put two, you get two. Fight. K.O. Fight. Nope, two rounds. <clears throat> okay, it's not working right now, but it does work. It, uh, it's having issues with this Master of Arts and this Master of Arts. It's a little confused because I don't have a proper roster, but it does work. I've tested it. Uh, time equals 99. Let's try that. Time equals 99. Redundant it is, but I will put this for both of them. <coughs> this way, no matter which one I get, it's going to work. Okay, so I'm an idiot. Uh, 5, because 99 is what it's set to by default. So yeah, that's uh, that's on me. Five second round. Round one. Fight. Yeah. Time. <laughs> I <over>. beat him. <laughs> <clears throat> round two. Fight. So that works. <clears throat> um, single. I'm not gonna do. And hidden. You already saw how hidden works with uh, Guy Giver. Can you combine them? Yes, you can. You would just put order equals whatever. Uh, time equals whatever, and then you put comma uh, versus versus screen equals zero, uh, comma rounds equals one. You just comma and add them per parameters onto each other like that. I'm going to remove it just because this is my <clears throat> Eichmann testing ground. Now, stages. They just have a few parameters themselves. These music parameters are also here for the character select, but I seem to have issue when I tried the music ones. Maybe I did it wrong, but I got it to work here in stages. Previously, you couldn't put music onto a stage like this. Stages in Mugen just have to be like this. Stages slash stage zero dot def or whatever it was. And, and I had unbreakable my stage to this. Um, to get this to work, you have to remove the line or if you remove or comment out either one in the music section of the stage you have to remove this line that says bg music equals sound whatever i commented it out note the semicolon colon thing i can't tell the difference i never can no matter how many times i correct myself so once you comment it out this is gonna work. So I have it playing Heroes One MP3 normally for this stage, and then when the life is low, it'll play Heroes Two that MP3. Um, according to Music Life, uh, by default, less than thirty percent life during the siding round, which is round two usually, <coughs> it'll change. So we're gonna go test that. Going in verses quickly. The mountainside temple. <coughs> You'll hear the music. Round one. Fight. Just gonna kill him quickly. Oh. 
We still got the regular Heroes 1 music. As I get his life to 30% low, music will change. I'm not gonna say anything so you can hear it. There you go. So, stage name, dot def, comma, music equals sound slash whatever, dot mp3 or whatever format, uh, mp3 is probably preferred, comma, music life. That's if you want to use that. Music alt, I haven't tried using, but that, that's like round two music, basically. Music victory is what shows in the victory screen. When you chaos somebody, and what goes to the victory screen. Um, Apparently you can use orders to do the thing as the stages as well, which I didn't try that. And unlock works the same way. If you go to this GitHub link, which is in everyone's Eichmann Go file, it'll give you uh, tell you other ways to do uh, use unlock. I, I haven't looked into it. I don't really know. So that's how you do your stages. Now another thing I'm gonna you know solve while we're here is. stage uh, icon picture things here when you add your stage the first time you get nothing unbreakable has no image what's it gonna show nothing <clears throat> I don't know why this is random it's such a weird looking house temple thing but yeah so we need to add an image like this to the stages SFF file to make it work now this is kind of widescreen so I'm gonna change and move into widescreen to make it fit accordingly um, for what it's worth you if you're making a screen back you have complete control over the size of that and how you want it and everything you know if you're adding a screen pack you, same thing you just have full control over it I'm gonna go to practice doesn't matter who I pick I'm going to unbreakable Fight. Oh, you know it's actually really bad <laughs> The stage is made a long time ago for a, a square resolution, so let me use a square resolution. I thought that was going to be a good idea. It was not. <laughs> All right, so practice. Okay. Fight. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to press Control Alt One, disables player one. Control Alt Two, disables player two. Control L, disables life bars. If you're on the desktop, on your keyboard on the top right, there is a print screen button. It's one of the top three buttons next to scroll lock and pause break. When you press it, it'll take a snapshot of the game. I'm waiting for uh, Joe Musashi to pass by. I took a picture of that. I'm gonna use this image for my uh, select screen portrait for the stage. If you're on the laptop, I don't remember the exact button pressing, but you have an FN key for function. So you'd press the function key and then I think you'd press... Actually, wait. Is it F12? I think Eichmann takes screenshots with F12. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Not even the screen, sh a screen break button. So backtrack, scratch that. <clears throat> get the image you want to get. In this case, this. And I'll press F12 when Joe passes by again. If if Joe passes by again, Joe. Oh, I think he's dead. Anyways, F12. It saves a screenshot of the game in the Eichmann folder. Right here, these are the screenshots. I saved a couple because I pressed it a couple times. <clears throat> On the laptop, you hold the FN key, you press F12. So now, using a free graphics program called uh, last paint portable it's a full download also but I'm using the portable version so I can use it anywhere I want to I'm going to open the image 
in the application drag and drop or file and open either or and here I have the image now I don't know what the actual images for those small portraits so I'm gonna open Kung Fu man's file and I'm gonna see oh here it is group 9000 index 1 kinda like a big portrait axis at 0 0 and it is 240 by 100 pixels so 240 by 100 so now if I you know took my time I could do it better but I'm just going to modify this quickly um, resample it this application is called resample uh, 240 100 and hit OK and there's the image I'm going to save it 24-bit uh, <clears throat> working in the future now we don't have to use 256 color anymore 24-bit we go to unbreakable we're gonna add the image um, let's see there we go group 9000 index 1 align to 0 0 do not crop there we go now if you try to save this you might get an error I I already did it before of course you go to sprites you go to save as and then you make sure you save as Mugen 1.1 Saving is this will allow you to use all these benefits of the, the new uh, graphics and colors and everything. And you know, match it up to your SFF file, good to go. Now, when you load up Mugen, there it is. It's in the stage select, just like that. If you take your time, you can get a wonderful picture that fits perfectly and amazingly. And since it's a high res, or you know like I've been seeing high-res for so many years since it's a a true color image you can have all the amazing things that we've never had before such as um, partial transparent backgrounds transparent images uh, fade outs fade ins all that stuff you know uh, I've seen a game where they had the stages on a round crystal ball and it it looked seamless it was amazing I like this stage. This is a nice stage. Came to me in a dream, actually. Minus the Joe Musashi surfing around. Um, yeah, so that's that. So I went over how to do characters. I went over how to add stages. I showed you a little music trick, which is fun. I showed you how to add a stage picture to the select screen, which is going to be great. Everyone's going to love that. Um, I showed the hidden, char uh, hidden character. Uh, the multiple character I did another video but you can just follow the same template here to make it work um, these things down here I never really mess with them particularly I don't uh, I don't know them all that well these are kind of new but if you wanted to make your select file look nice and neat pretty much everything below the character bracket you can delete so like there like, you can just have it like this you know, uh, same thing for the stages. Everything, it's just all information to help you and to teach you. But if you want to, like, this is all you really need. And you can remove all these little commented out things like this. When you're comfortable with it, of course, you know what I mean? And so on. More straight to the point so you can do everything at once. But yes. So I think that is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Kind of longer than I planned, but it's it's worth it if it gets the point across. All right, take care.